What's up guys, Arden here for Yellow House Aerial. I'm just working in the garage today because it's hot out and it's a little cooler in here. In a previous video, I was talking about a car charging solution for the Inspire 2 and trying to keep it practical and efficient. So what I've got is now two of these little car chargers. They're a 12 volt to 26 volt adapter. That's really all that's in here. Uh, two of these, so I'm gonna hook them up in parallel and see if I can't give 26 volts at about eight amps to the DJI charging uh, hub and see how that goes. So I popped the casing off of both of the 12 volt car chargers for Inspire 2. Uh, pretty basic electronics. It looked a lot like the uh, LTC 3780 inside, just with fewer options. There's technically an adjustment on there, but they've adjusted it to 26.1 volts and just glued it so that you can't adjust it. Now these things don't have heat sinks on them, but I attached some heat sinks um, just in case, even sitting at idle, these chips started to get a little bit warm. So if you were actually using this as a car charger, uh, it would get pretty toasty and there's no heat sinks. It's just in a plastic casing so it lasts a little bit longer and run a little bit more efficiently um, with the heat sinks. We're just not going to look at my solder job. I've gone and wired them up in parallel so the 12 volt up here goes into both and the 26 volt that comes out merges into both of these wires and on the end of this one I have the barrel plug that fits into the Inspire 2 charger. So I have two pairs of batteries here, one, two. This one is at 18 percent and we're going to charge it using these converters and then the other one is at 24 percent and we're going to give the inverter a little bit of an advantage but i've measured the float voltage off of the yellow top and i topped it up with the no code just now and we're going to see what the voltage drop is so we can calculate the amp hours usage to charge from 18 percent using just dc to dc and then we're going to charge this pair from 24 percent to full using dc to ac to dc and see what the difference in efficiency is i suspect we'll get a little bit more juice out of it because we're not losing anything to heat um, as we would with the regular inspire 2 charger off of ac so it'll be more efficient let's see what's up now I added my own barrel connectors that I ordered off AliExpress, but these car chargers come with a barrel connector for the remote and they come with battery chargers. So really I could connect these two battery connectors straight to the batteries, but really I trust the Inspire charging hub to help regulate the voltage and prevent overcharging. I'm not positive um, what these would do if connected directly to the battery. I'm sure they're okay, the manual says they're okay, but why take a chance if I can just combine the amperage into here and let the hub sort of have some of the control, um, I would really rather do that. So just an update, we've been charging for a few minutes here and these are the heat sinks that I've stolen from the LTC 3780. They are aluminum. Now they are too hot to touch. I don't know why the manufacturer would put MOSFETs without a heat sink um, when they get this warm inside a plastic casing. It just doesn't make sense. It's going to burn out. Uh, it's just not good for it. Okay, another update. These heat sinks are nice and toasty, but these coils would actually burn me if I touch them. They are way too hot. So I'm going to look into using, uh, getting some sort of heat sink situation for those going on. And I would definitely, totally not recommend using this charger inside a plastic case. It would get just incredibly hot and I'm, that's not cool. That's not cool. So I'm going to go ahead and let these charge up. I will then recharge the yellow top to a float voltage using the NOCO charger and then I'll run the same test on the AC inverter and the pair that we're using there has 24% as opposed to 18 so the AC uh, charge is actually running at an advantage but I imagine that we'll still use more power than just the DC. So we will be right back. Car charger for Inspire 2. User manual. I also like the second line here. Be careful of the hot cigarette lighter of the charger in case of empirosis, which is a really obscure way to save fire. Well, yeah, given the fact that they neglected to put some heat sinks on this thing, I wouldn't be surprised if it caught fire. Okay, all finished here. I charged up the yellow top overnight with the NOCO and then I ran the second pair of batteries with the AC inverter setup. Now the voltage drop difference before and after charging um, relative was just 0.03 volts, which is 4% of this battery's capacity, which is a pittance and the difference in efficiency is not um, nearly as large as I thought it might be. Now to be fair, I did give the 
uh, AC charger a bit of an advantage. I gave it a higher charge battery to charge, so it didn't have to work as hard. So the difference in efficiency is probably a little bit higher than 4%, but not by much. Um, you do lose a decent amount of voltage or a decent amount of energy uh, converting from DC to AC and DC again, but you lose, um, I feel like I'm losing nearly as much energy to heat through these little uh, DC car charging chips. And I'm super not happy with the fact that they didn't come with heat sinks. Um, I have a heat sink lying around here that I might just chop up and utilize for that. Now I will be using these car charger DC units just because they're a little bit more efficient and they don't have the loud noise of the inverter. Um, but I would like to get an LTC 3780 base chip, another one, I guess, which is about the same price as these two car chargers combined. And I think that'll be a little bit more efficient, even though it has some tinkering and you got to check and set the voltage and amperage yourself. So anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know any comments down below. Give us a like if you enjoyed this and don't forget to consider subscribing if you want to see what else we're into. My name is Arden for Yellow House Aerial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.